Many customers of brokerage firms believe their financial advisor is working in their best interest when making investment recommendations. In reality, advisors at firms like Morgan Stanley, Merrill Lynch, and Edward Jones aren't required to put your interest ahead of their own. Let's take a closer look at how conflicts of interest enrich brokerage firms at your expense. Edward Jones is one of the largest brokerage firms in the country with 19,000 advisors. Edward Jones advisors commonly recommend investments from the company's preferred partner program. Fund managers in this program agree to revenue sharing arrangements with Edward Jones. Think of it as pay to play. Edward Jones is like Jerry Maguire. You want Edward Jones advisors to recommend your funds? Then show us the money. Show me the money! Congratulations, you're still my agent. Edward Jones received $287 million in revenue sharing payments last year. That represented about 20% of their profits. That money comes directly from the fund expenses their clients pay. An Edward Jones customer probably won't see Vanguard or DFA funds in their portfolio for the simple reason those firms have very low fees and don't revenue share. Conversely, American funds paid Jones $110 million last year. Why is this important? Clients of Edward Jones or any other brokerage firm that engages in revenue sharing aren't getting the benefit of conflict-free advice. And chances are your investment portfolio isn't doing as well as it could be. We invite you to contact us to learn how independent advice can help enhance your portfolio.